going too slow. Uh, set it at two if I'm doing about right. Set it at three if you think I'm going too fast. Oh yeah. And uh, so he could, you know, read the dials and uh, attempt to adjust the, uh, the the lecture. That was at Cal Poly. Yep. And so I had to I had to find uh, the hardware and uh, install it and uh, find a uh, find a room that would. Um, where I could adjust the chairs and it, it just took forever to, to, to get the setup and then to evaluate all of the, the quiz responses and it, is, it just took a long time. How long was your dissertation? Um, well, collecting the data, writing it up submitting it and defending it. <laughs> you know, oh, you would get in front, you have to speak on it? Yeah, you read? And, uh, and submit it to the committee. And uh, then the committee would call you in and math? ask additional questions. About, it was all about math? Math? Uh, yeah. Man. It, uh, so I think I probably spent uh, a year, you know, not full time, but it, it took about a year to, to get all of the data and uh, uh, do the write-up on the dissertation. Wow. Gosh. It just, it took, it just took a long time. I've always... I've always been pretty good with numbers, you know, as far as not taking it to 1% of the level you did, but generally I've, I've always been able to compute numbers pretty good, yeah. Could you, could you explain um, the difference between torque and horsepower? Um, the torque is the essentially force uh, at an a force from a distance. The amount of force multiplied by the distance. Uh, the torque is, has to do with twist. Okay. Um, and the amount of force applied and multiplied by the distance yeah. equals the torque. And then what's and then. And then the power, power is, is... Is the raw power going into the system. Yeah, they're related, though. Yeah. Um, so there's... So if you're going to move a, move a car slowly from point A to point B, but then if you move it fast from point A to point B, it requires more power and more energy to move it fast. Right. Yeah. Why does why does distance increase the the power of torque or the more torque? Why why does distance why does distance uh, contribute to to much more power on the at the point, you know, why does greater distance increase the power on it? Oh, leverage. You're yeah, yeah. A lever arm. Yeah. Um, I don't think I understand the question. Just, just why, why, uh, why do you have more power applied at this point, pulling out here as opposed to pulling here? Uh, I, I kind of under basically understand it, but I'd like to hear your description. Well, the the amount of the amount of force you got a fulcrum and a lever, and uh, so the total total amount of force is going to be the same. Uh, 
but you're putting the force on a, a longer distance. I don't know exactly how to explain it. But the, the length of the lever arm multiplied by the force that you're applying is going to be the same uh, over here. But this, you've got a shorter lever arm, so the, uh, the, the, the force times the distance is equal to the force times the distance. Times the distance, okay. And, uh, yeah. So with a shorter distance, it takes a greater force to balance out the distance and force over here. Uh, Archimedes so. said, give me a place to stand and a long enough lever and I'll be able to move the move earth. The world. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> so, as far as gears, um, so, if you have a smaller gear, up, smaller gear, a little bigger, a little bigger, and you're applying the power from the smaller side, you'll have more torque, right? But if you apply the power from the bigger side, you'll have more speed, right? right? And by changing the number of teeth, will change your speed or your torque. Yeah, it's it's more the the diameter than it is the number of teeth. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. But there yeah, yeah. But you but with the same amount of power, so you're going to sacrifice the other one. You know, you're going to lose you you'll lose uh torque and gain speed or you'll you'll gain speed and lose torque right because the same amount of power is applied that's good stuff what's the most difficult type of math what's the most difficult type of math um, it depends on uh, on your native ability. Yeah, <laughs> uh, in your opinion. Yeah, uh, the toughest courses that I took were differential equations. But different. What What's that mean? Um, uh, let's see. How do I easily say it? Um, <laughs> I guess you're looking at uh, small, small increments of, uh, say, motion and trying to extrapolate from that to what the overall oh. curve looks like. Okay. Uh, by looking at little pieces. Yeah. Uh, you, you, you try to differential equations, uh, it's called the, the general shape. Oh, okay. They'll give you a little piece of information of, of uh, you know, whatever it could be, an angle or a force. And, and then, and you got to find out what's the total equation right. with a piece of information. Yeah, the, the standard calculus. What's calculus? You, you, you look at the curve. And uh, from that, you can determine what what goes on at a particular point in the curve. Okay. Differential equations gives looks at the little pieces oh. and tries to give you the curve back. Oh, okay. <laughs> Man, math is cool. What about like? On the quantum level, stuff starts acting way different, huh? On the what? On the quantum level, super small, a lot of the laws of physics aren't don't hold up. 
You know, we haven't, haven't completely discovered all the laws. Right. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. That uh, our knowledge of uh, laws of physics um, are only good for big events. Yeah. And uh, quantum physics looks at what's going on at the yeah at the atomic level. Yeah. And that's not completely understood yet. Yeah. Have you have you heard of the um, the double slit test? The double slit test, where they shoot uh, electrons through. Oh, the double slit. Yeah, test. through they shoot them through slits, and they and they'll act as as uh, waves or whatever. But then, by if you observe it, then they'll act like uh, solid particles. The, observing them changes their behavior yeah yeah th that's not completely understood yet yeah in some ways light will act like a wave and other situations it looks like particles yeah this yeah how about how about uh I can't think of the name of it, but it's a theoretical question where you have a the cat in the box with yeah. decaying uh, radioactive material. You know what I'm talking about? I think so. Could you could you speak on that for a no. second? <laughs> <laughs> How it's the cat it could be both dead and alive at the same time. Right. Can you understand? Can you explain it? No, I can't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can't. I, I've I've heard it a bunch of times and, and s briefly looked and studied it, but I can't. The concept it won't s yeah. land at home with me. I don't understand. I don't understand it. I don't either. I don't understand what it means. Yeah. What do you think about uh, Tesla, the inventor? Do I think about the the guy Tesla? Yeah. What do you think about him? Is he? Uh, he was uh, very bright, but very hard to get along with. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah, he uh, he died as a pauper. You know cheap hotel room. Wow. He never, he didn't understand money. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Man. They're a very bright guy. Yeah. Is Stephen Hawking still alive? I don't think so. He recently passed? Or how long? Is it? Yeah, I think I think he might be alive. I don't know. It seems like I. I'm pretty sure he's dead. I don't remember how long ago. But his body started going to pieces while he was in college, I think, and gradually. Just got worse and worse and yeah. worse. Became heat, uh, wheelchair bound. Yeah. What do you have? MS. Mul I think multiple sclerosis. MS, yeah. And muscular dystrophy, I think. Yeah. Again, a very bright guy. Yeah. I want to, I know it's easy to say this, but I really want to get a degree or something. I want to, I want to be more proud of my accomplishments. Yeah. 
Yeah, I uh, keep wishing that you had not taken these detours. I know. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, you were always a very bright guy, but never could seem to look ahead to yeah. the consequences. Uh-uh. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. I need to steal these pallets. Yeah. But uh, I'm, I'm sure I'm not, never going to get caught, right? <laughs> Yeah. And not and oh I got away with it five times, so let's keep doing it. <laughs> yeah, I never uh, yeah. Absolutely. What I just don't know what I wanna do though, you know, I can I've thought of a million things that I wanna do, but I just I I just get I, maybe I think a little bit and then something, nah, not this, nah, not this. I just, I just can't go all the way with anything. I don't know what to do or what I want to do. So I guess I'm just going to keep breaking my back and sweating all day for a little pay and getting bossed around. Well, it's about time it's, for you to figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Life goes by real quick. Yeah. And it just keeps speeding up. Yeah, it's going faster and faster the older I get. <laughs> what What are some good career ideas for the foreseeable future that would be pay good and have plenty of job opportunities? What are some what are some good fields? I don't know. You're in a better position to do that. I don't know. <laughs> I'm so out of touch with the real world that I'm no good. <laughs> should I go? go to? Should I go to a trade school? Should I go to a trade school? I don't know. Hard questions. <laughs> I don't know. For some reason, I always wanted to be a teacher, and uh, so that pretty well determined my path. Great. Because I wanted to, I wanted to teach, and if you want to teach, then you got to get an education, and, and so. Did you always know you wanted to teach mathematics mostly? Yeah, yeah I think probably all the way back in my high school years, I wanted wanted to be a teacher. I took a little one-year detour and went to uh, a case in engineering and uh, figured out that's not the direction to go. <laughs> <laughs> in engineering? Right. Why, why didn't you like that? I guess because my dad was an engineer, so I thought that's the thing to do, I guess. Yeah. That's the story of my dad. His dad was an engineer, and that's the way he went. A mail truck just went by. I thought this was a... A holiday. Martin Luther King? I thought uh, I thought there wouldn't be any mail today. Hmm. Yeah, I, wrote I a, wrote a card uh, 
to Daisy. <clears throat> I didn't put it in the mailbox because I thought there was no mail today. Yeah. So I better go dump it at the post office, I guess. I could do. I could deliver it to her if you want. Okay. Today, I'm gonna see her. I'm gonna see her tomorrow, but maybe today also. Um. Yeah, I, she's complaining about being 37 years old. <laughs> she split up with her boyfriend. Is it? Is it? Is it? Was it him that? Went into her place and stole. It had stuff. to have been. It had to have been. Absolutely, it was. He he took the money that it was his money, I guess, uh, a few hundred dollars. I think two or three hundred. He knew where that was at, so that's missing. Uh, Addison's iPad that he gave to her is missing, and he hit her where it hurts. Her mountain bike that yeah. she loves and her helmet. No one else would take that stuff. It. Had to have been him. And no one's going to go in the house and just... It, it, absolutely, it was him. So, somebody had a key. Yeah. Absolutely, it was him. So she changed... Had the locks changed, and that cost her oh, $250 Gosh. or something. Yeah. He's always had a real... Like, chauvinistic attitude towards her. And sits back and orders pizza and sits on the couch and hey where you at all right he's real he's not kind to her she she really talked him up at first so i thought he was great at first but then turns out he doesn't work and he doesn't do shit and he complains all the time yeah yeah she asked me for some money to bail him out of jail and the I said no. How long ago was that? Year, maybe, quite a while. It was that guy, the one that she's with now. I, I'm not sure which guy it was. <laughs> Good, yeah. I'm glad you said no to that. I, I wasn't, uh, wasn't about to put money up to bail him out. No, absolutely not. I rebuilt my carburetor on my motorcycle. I rebuilt my carburetor on my motorcycle. Took on this it off. One? Yeah. Took it off, put new jets, put a new emulsion tube and a uh, new spring and new new valve, new ball. Yeah, and it's noticeably more responsive and and I got and it claims to have more horsepower and I feel it. Yeah. Uh, $100 for a great upgrade. Yeah. And the Dino Jets, it's not a, you can't buy it in California, so I had it shipped to Missouri, my friend in Missouri, and then he sent it to me. Do they do do they do emissions checks when you relicense? I don't know. Now, on the car, I've got to have admissions checked uh, to renew the license plates. That's not true of on the cycle, so. I don't think so. There goes the mail truck again. <laughs> what the hell's going on? I want to get a. I want to get a faster bike already. You want a what? A faster bike. You can fall off of this one just fine. <laughs> How's your dad getting along? Good. He has his, his new girlfriend. They seem very compatible. He's happy. He's still like workaholic, stress case. Not as bad as he used to be, but he still gets just overwhelmed with life. <laughs> but he's happier than he's been, yeah, and more relaxed. But he's still, sometimes he's like real high strung about just life, about, <laughs> yeah. And he's, yeah. 
Yeah, he and Sharon were not a very good match. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, way opposite. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to I'm starting to reach out to Jenny more. You know, I want to I want to build my relationship with Jenny more. Now it's just me and her basically. I don't know where Mandy's at. <laughs> Have you heard or talked to Mandy recently? Uh, I think I, we had a text conversation maybe t 2 weeks ago. And I told her about Josh and said that she ought to be talking to Jenny. Jenny needed some support. And uh, Jenny said that she had talked to Mandy. That Mandy's just always been kind of a mystery. Is she in town, do you think? Uh, she's living over in Bakersfield. Oh, wow. Oh. A lot of, lot of, lot of drugs in Bakersfield. What? There's a lot of drugs in Bakersfield. Yeah, she. Mandy told me that she was clean, but uh, I don't. Nobody, nobody I, else seems to believe it. Yeah, I don't. I don't think she would ever tell you that she wasn't, <laughs> unless she had to. Yeah, her life just went went bad when she got addicted to drugs. Yeah, she doesn't have any kids. Uh, uh, she's got um, the first baby was born dead, stillborn, and uh, the second one is now on uh, been adopted by some relative so she she sees him regularly oh but, uh, how old is her son uh, i think he's just over a year i think his first birthday was february yeah. so he's a year and a half or so i haven't seen him But Chris was thinking about uh, adopting him, and it just wasn't going to work. She wasn't feeling good, and yeah. working full time, and you know, yeah. you just don't take care of a baby, and and split up with, and just split up with uh, Mark, you know. So no, he essentially was raised by a foster parents that wanted to adopt him <clears throat> but uh, some relative of uh, Amanda's hus uh, boyfriend uh, also applied for adoption and uh, so the the boyfriend's par um, relatives adopted him Is she, is she still with the her son's father? Do you know? As far as I know. So they've been together for a few years. Yeah. I didn't as far as you know, yeah. yeah. I think I've only seen him once. Don't know anything about him. <clears throat> 